What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. I'm gonna show you today how to do the dragon flag. It's one of the most difficult but rewarding ab exercises you can do, and it's not just for show. It's actually gonna be a great test of your entire core stability or pillar strength. And what we can do is we can make sure you can do some variation of it if we choose the right adaptations to the exercise to make sure that you can build up to the full exercise. So first, what does it look like? You've seen this before. Anybody that knows anything about me knows that from the day I saw Sylvester Stallone do this in Rocky IV, I was hooked. I wanted to know how to do it. Of course, I couldn't do it until many years later because I had no ab strength at all. The idea here, though, is you need a lot more than ab strength. First of all, let's look at the hand position. How you grip the post or pillar or whatever you're holding on matters a lot. Think about it. If you were to grip on the sides of this, the force that you're directing is sideways in this way. You're not going to get as much strength or counterbalance to the forces of gravity pushing downward if you were to hold your hands underneath, as I'm showing you here. Now you're actually pushing up as gravity is trying to push you down. You've got a nice direct counterforce that makes this exercise easier. So if you're just starting out, how you're gripping is going to help you. Next, when we're doing this, we want to start by using the eccentric portion of the lift. Make sure that you just cheat your way up to the top by actually just shortening your legs, pushing straight up into the ceiling, and working on your ability to control the eccentric. And you may not be able to do it as a full straight leg variation or descent now. You want to make sure that you can control this however you can. So you might want to shorten the legs up a little bit and descend just a half of the body weight that you have by shortening those legs, bring your knees into your chest. As you get stronger, of course, you're going to be able to push your legs out further and have more weight that you have to be able to manage as your legs go down towards the ground. Now, big key point that nobody ever talks about here. They're thinking all about abs, 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 but what really is going on here is glutes, glutes, glutes. Because if I were to let my glutes relax, what's going to happen? I'm going to go into hip flexion because one of the roles of the glutes is to extend the hip. So if I want to keep my hips extended, i.e. my legs straight out in front of me, I got to learn to squeeze my glutes. It's going to help your ability to do this exercise immensely just by remembering to squeeze your glutes as you're trying to eccentrically lower down to the ground. So you're going to do that as well. You can see how that one little fix right here can actually correct me midway through the, the, uh, the rep. And then finally, we can use what we call here a dragon thruster. And that's a great way to kind of prepare yourself to become better at this exercise by thrusting up and then having to lower the eccentric. But then again, shortening up and thrusting up and then lowering the eccentric. You can do these for reps a lot more easily. Again, you're working on a more dynamic way to control the eccentric. So I hope you found this video helpful and have now some tips in your arsenal to get you to start being able to do this more difficult ab exercise. Because while it may be difficult, again, it is very rewarding and it's going to help you to build that all important element of core stability that we tend to overlook too often when we're trying to get a six pack. It will happen, guys. You'll get the six pack at the same time, but your core will actually be strengthened the way it needs to be to be functionally strong to allow you to do a whole hell of a lot of other things here in the gym than just look good. If you're looking for a program that's going to let you do a whole hell of a lot of things that you're not doing right now at the same time that's making you look good, head to athletex.com right now and get our AthleanX training system. Start training like an athlete so you can start looking like one. In the meantime, if you like this video, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what you want me to cover here, and I'll do my best to do it again in a future video. All right, guys. I'll see you soon.